Hey ihr Lieben, schön, dass ihr wieder eingeschaltet habt. Wir werden uns heute schon mal um die Waffen kümmern. Ich habe auch ganz kurz nachgelesen, dass das wohl nicht so einfach ist und vielen Probleme bereitet hat, hier die, die Waffen einfach so durchzuwechseln. Fresh blood. The whole building reeks of it. The scent is so strong it makes me dizzy. Ja, eine Bleistange. Eine Sense. Zweihändige Waffe. Okay. This creature is bedeviled. I must put it down. Die Ausdauer geht echt schnell runter. Heile dich selbst, ja, okay, nur wo? Ähm, wo? Munition. Hm. Womit können wir uns heilen? Eigentlich doch nur mit Blut, wenn man ein Vampir ist, oder? Und hier haben wir auch noch nichts. Hier vielleicht. Naja. Okay. It's locked, all right. Mr. Hampton, are you in there? You are well, another lost soul, a kindred soul. Sir, listen to the sound of my voice. I am... I am a doctor. You're suffering from shock. I must return to my flock to spray without me. Remember, certain skulls are every bit as resistant as we are. Who are you? What do you mean by scalp? You truly are a newborn. 
I should have realized. Wait. You, you are the woman from the bar. Are you like me? Can you help me? I believe so. I already have. Oh, okay. By George and the Saints, you've solved the mystery of these terrible murders. Patience, good fellows, I've come to offer help. Just give me a moment to secure my boat. We can leave this awful place. Well, he was not the evil man they claimed he was taken by the force. He needed his blink. This man requires medical attention. We'll see he gets to the nearest hospital. No, please, I almost tend to my fault, but not needless. Go with a good doctor, Swansea. He's resourceful, and I'm sure he'll take good care of you. The best come as well. The sun is soon to rise, and you'll need a place to rest. I just need a moment. If I can learn something about what has happened to William, I'll be a step closer to understanding what happened to me. Hmm. <sighs> This poor creature can't be my maker. Could it be some subspecies of vampire? I must find a place to analyze the blood. I glaube wir haben ein kleines Problem. Wir brauchen Blut. Und ich befürchte, dass wir von ihm trinken sollen. Where are we headed? We're on our way to the Pembroke Hospital. It's just across the canal. They'll have a bed for poor Mr. Hampton. William was... What manner of creature was he? Predator, prey, villain, and victim. Who can say? The important thing is that he's been stopped. Do you note it? And the woman? What? Who is she? What woman? Oh, don't play me for a fool. You used me to locate that skull. You must know who she is. I thought you were gentlemen. You didn't talk about a lady behind her back, but I will tell you she values her privacy. For London as peaceful as she appears from the middle of the canal. If only that with the reality of the situation. To be honest, I've always tried to avoid this part of town. Pembroke Hospital is the last bastion between the rest of London and the epidemic. The flu has decimated the East End and the war still rages. Welcome to the front lines of a plague. This is where you work, Dr. I am the administrator of Pembroke Hospital. I thought you were here in service of your mysterious order, the Brotherhood of... Of St. Paul's Soul. Yes. First and foremost, I am a man of science. A physician, like yourself, Dr. Reed. How do you know who I am? No need for modesty. You are Dr. Jonathan Reed. A surgeon of some caliber and renown, if I'm not mistaken. You are correct, sir. I knew it. I had my suspicions. But when you took the blood sample from the corpse of poor William, I was certain. Dr. Reed. Marvelous. Have we met? I attended three of your seminars before the war. I have the utmost admiration for your research. And what a turn of fate. England's most esteemed blood specialist returns to London a vampire. <sighs> that word again from a so-called man of science. I understand traditionally the role of science is to refute it, but a myth walks among us. The Brotherhood of St. Paul has dedicated its purpose to their study. There's so much for you to learn. Of that, you are right. Well, then let me be blunt. Join my staff at Pembroke Hospital. As a physician, 
I suspect you'll not find a better post of employment to contemplate your uh, predicament. This is sudden. I was returning home to see my sickly mother. But alas, that was before contracting this affliction. Dr. Reed, take a moment to consider. The post would be for the night shift. Providing a good explanation of your absence during daylight hours, you will be adequately reimbursed and have a place to hide. I even had the forethought to bring some clean clothes. So, what do you say? It seems I have little choice, but yours is a generous offer, so I thank you. Brilliant! Oh, Jonathan, this is one for the book, and the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Wow. Gigantic. Wenn wir jetzt im Hospital arbeiten, dann haben wir doch... Du bist unsicher, mein Gütnis. I was beginning to be concerned. Worry no more, Nurse Craig. I bring good news. Oh, Doctor, what a night. We lost two more patients. Nurse Scout said she couldn't take it anymore and resigned. Yes, well, I'll make a new rotor in the morning. In the meantime, find a... Oh, good bed for Mr. Hampton. Be sure to pay attention to his needs. Of course, Doctor. Oh, and Dorothy? Yes, Doctor? Dr. Reed here has just returned from the front. He served in country and will be joining us here at Pembroke. We are very lucky to have gained a surgeon of his palate, and one so experienced in blood transfusions. That is good news indeed, Doctor. <laughs> oh, yes. <sighs> Here at Pembroke, it's not what we have, what we haven't. It's only thanks to Nurse Crane and the staff that our ship didn't sink. If you have any questions, just ask her. You need it. Thank you. Your assistance is required, Dr. Swansea, immediately. One more, Jonathan. We'll catch up after my rounds. Coming, Nurse Crane. I'm coming. Okay. We have here doch jetzt dann sicherlich. Ähm, immer, immer wieder Blut durch die Blutkonserven zur Verfügung. Okay, auf zum Krankenhaus. Ja, das werden wir machen. Erstmal hier noch umgucken. Ja, wahrscheinlich wieder verschlossen. Ja. Okay. Na ja, dann gehen wir einfach mal los. Ich bin sorry, Mr. Hampton needs me right now. Können wir hier nicht durch? Nein. You've lost too much blood. Calm yourself. You speak of the thoughts. Stop your staring and get me to an hospital if you ask. Hmm. Medizinische Untersuchung. Drücken für Details. Gesund. Also so richtig netter Mensch scheint er mir jetzt nicht zu sein, diese Clay Cox. Seien Sie höflicher. Insulting a good Samaritan. Not exactly the way to get rescued. All right, all right, sorry. I am in pain. We got to spill it out onto the street. You want to have it on? Yes. That's a very nasty wound you've got there. Take my word, I was... I am a doctor, Dr. Jonathan Reed. 
Thanks, Clay Cox. I'd appreciate you helping me to a better place, Doc. Follow me, Mr. Cox. Let me assist you to that better place. Miss hmm. Merision, um das Blut deiner Beute auszusaugen, musst du sie zunächst in den Band ziehen, um sie so an eine Stelle zu führen, die andere Bürger nicht sehen können. Deine Bandstufe muss genauso hoch wie oder höher als der Widerstand des Bürgers sein. Drücke Q, um Clay in den Band zu ziehen. Clay Cox entweder aussaugen oder loslassen möchtest. Wenn du ihn aussaugst, wird er dir eine große Menge EP gewähren, jedoch hat das Konsequenzen. Sei dir dessen bewusst. Je mehr du über Bürger weißt und je mehr Hinweise du über sie findest, desto mehr EP geben sie dir. Uh, Im Grunde hat er uns ja nichts getan. Und ich würde ihn erstmal loslassen. No more. Not tonight. Not like this. I will not take another life. Okay. Wo ist das Pembroke? Das ist eigentlich riesengroß. It is wise for the huntsman to sometimes let his prey go. But no vanished hunter can run for long. Ja, das ist klar. Hm. Okay. Oh, hier. Hier sind wir doch. Where have you been? I have little time to play hide and seek with new staff members, no matter how illustrious they may be. I found a wounded man by the docks. He answers to the name of Clay Cox. He requires urgent medical attention. Already making the rounds? That's the Pembroke spirit. I'll ask our porter, Milton, to bring him back immediately. Thank you, nurse. What can I do for you? Dr. Swansea insisted we provide you a quiet office. You'll find it on the second floor with your name on the door. Thank you. Nurse Crane, isn't it? Yes, Dorothy Crane. Welcome to Pembroke Hospital, Dr. Reed. Your office has been prepared. Ich habe noch einige Fragen. I would like to ask a few questions first. Okay, wie geht es Mr. Hampton? And Mr. Hampton, the patient we brought in. How does he fare? I gave him a sedative to help him sleep. Poor thing was in quite a state of shock. And where is Dr. Swansea? What kind of man is Dr. Swansea? Well, you accepted the job from him. I thought you would have known about your employer. No. Ich habe ihn gerade erst kennengelernt. Apologies, I've only just met him the once. This is sudden. I've only just returned to England. Dr. Swansea is a brilliant surgeon and the most compassionate physician. Okay, er kennt mich besser als ich ihn. It's right to assume Dr. Swansea knows far more about me than I do about him. You'll get to know him soon enough and better than me. The administrator has better things to do than miss with us. No, okay, wo ist mein Raum? Erster Stock. If you could point me in the direction of my room again, then. Second floor of the hospital, left after the stairs, is the last vacant office at the end of the corridor. Thank you, Nurse Gray. Good. Ich hoffe mal, wir bekommen in unserem Büro gleich mal etwas zu trinken. Dr. Swansea is right. 
This place seems perfect to conduct my research. Okay. Wir werden erstmal hochgehen. Erst Stock links hoch. Gottes Willen. Letzte Tür. Dr. Reed, ja, das sind wir. This must be the place. It's definitely away from prying eyes. Relegated to the shadows. A kingdom of my own. At least I won't be sleeping in a coffin. Dann werden wir uns vielleicht erstmal etwas ausruhen. Na, hier noch. Okay. Haben wir irgendwo Blutkonserven? Oh, hier können wir einiges machen. Hier. Drachenfluch. Okay. Um, was war das? Haben wir uns umgezogen? Sind wir gestorben? Ich habe keine Ahnung. Na gut, na gut. Ich denke mal, wir werden erstmal eine Runde schlafen. Ah, schlafen direkt geht nicht, okay. Ich hätte gern... Erhöht deine Blutkapazität. Erhöht die Blutaufnahme. Ja, das hört sich alles nicht schlecht an. Und auch das mit der Blutkapazität, dann der Biss. Nein, Schaden, Schaden möchte ich jetzt so nicht. Ähm. Erhöht deine Gesundheit und die Ausdauer. Ja, die Ausdauer ist auch immer ein bisschen ein Problem. Und hier die Blutkapazität. Das war's dann erstmal. Okay, das war's dann erstmal für diese Folge. Wir werden uns. Okay, es wird eh dann alles aufgefüllt, sobald wir schlafen. Das ist sehr gut. Wir haben die Nacht überlebt. Wir haben keinen weiteren ausgesaugt, der es nicht verdient hat. Ich bin zufrieden. Wir sehen uns dann in der nächsten Folge. Schön, dass ihr wieder zugesehen habt. Bis dann. Tschüss.